look, it's Super Optimus Prime. That is not Super Op... That... Wait, that actually is Super Optimus Prime. I am Optimus Prime, leader of the Autobots, and I bring you this message. You suck. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review, and today we're going to take a look at a KO Superman inspired Optimus Prime figure that I picked up from SirToys.com. Link down in the description below, great place to get to third party KO and just weird action figures out of China. And this guy looks super cool. Uh, I love the color scheme. It's a pretty good sized figure, as you can tell. And then he's got his little Superman cape down underneath. Just really weird and goofy. Obviously, he doesn't come in a box. He's in a baggie. So let's go ahead and jump in there and get this guy out of the baggie and see. So here we have a Super Optimus Prime out of the packaging, and this guy is fantastically fun. Now, this is an oversized KO Transformers Kingdom Core Class Optimus Prime, but uh, I just love this. Uh, it's actually got a die-cast chest, which is very, very cool. The color scheme is obviously very different, very Superman-esque in the color scheme. He's got this little tiny blaster. Very different for Optimus Prime, that's for sure, so just kind of a take a closer look at that. Very elongated, but pretty cool. It's a nice looking blaster. Almost looks like Starscream's Null Ray, which is interesting. And then um, we've got the figure itself, and what I love is this cape. Um, it's a nice solid plastic, and it's actually got some articulation to it. So it folds out this way. It also folds up this way. It's very nice, very cool. It goes onto the shoulder blades, very nice. Yeah, this thing is definitely cool. I just love the silliness to it. Um, to pull this off, what you want to do is lift up on the shoulders, and there are two little pegs that go securely into the shoulders. So here we go. Just kind of put Prime there. And this is what the cape looks like. It's a very solid cape with these little pegs. They go into the shoulders right there. Very nice, very cool, but yeah. The fact they put that articulation on there is very nice when you're posing it. So I really dig that cape. Very cool robo cape. Now the figure itself, as far as articulation goes, the head moves back and forth. Nothing big there. Arms do move up and down. They do move around. There is a ball joint at the elbow. So it moves around quite a bit. And then the wrists do move in and out, but that's really for transformation. There's a little bit of movement at the top. Legs move that far out. He's got a knee bend right there. They go back that far. They do splay out. And there is no foot articulation, unfortunately. But yeah, the wrists do bend. But again, that's for transformation. So yeah, definitely pretty cool. Taking a closer look at the figure itself, again, sculpted well. The cape I love. I'm not sure which cape this comes from, but it fits this figure very well. Again, this is a Kingdom oversized core class, but it's got the Superman color scheme. It's mostly blue. We've got red around the chest. There's some gold details. The fact it's got a die cast chest piece on it, very nice. We got uh, some kind of granite or um, you know grayish kind of color in the window which is cool silver paint stacks definitely dig that and a, a traditional Optimus Prime face the back of the head is red which is kind of weird I would have probably just left that blue but uh, yeah definitely got the signature Superman color scheme where it should be for the most part Now, looking at the midsection of the figure, again, very cool. The KO, you know, Kingdom Core Class figure. I love the wrinkles in the cape. We got uh, red hands. I like the red and the gold around his waist. Again, very Superman-esque. Blue for everything else to match Superman's outfit. It's just very cool. Very interesting design color choice scheme for Optimus. And you know what? It works. It oddly, oddly works. And the Null Ray type of gun for this figure also works. 
And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure, again, with the Superman theme, we've got the red boots. There are some silver highlights on the shins, which is nice. We've got the black wheels. The cape, of course, comes down. It's got a nice curve. All the wrinkles in it look really, really good. I wish there was some ankle articulation on this particular figure, but again, it's an oversized core class figure, so that's not really surprising. For comparison, here we have Super Optimus Prime next to the Netflix Nemesis Prime. And as you can see, this oversized core figure is oversized as he towers over Nemesis Prime. And it's just, I don't know, there's something so goofy but so awesome about this figure at the same time. I'm loving him in my collection. Now, transformation on this figure is basically going to be the same as the uh, Core Class Prime. The first thing that we want to do is take this cape off. So you're just going to lift it up off of the shoulders and just kind of lift it up like this. Clip it off of the pegs and we're going to put that to the side right over here. Um, yeah, just clips in the shoulders. Nothing too fancy. So just throw that to the side. So now we're going to take the figure and we're going to lift this back panel piece upward like that. Display the arms out a little bit and we're going to want to twist the upper body around. And then this head piece is going to rotate inward and then we're going to cover the top with this panel right here. Just like that. We're going to move the arms back and out of the way a little bit. We're going to fold the hands into the actual arms like this and then we're going to want to lift these legs and start to align them so to show this from the side we're going to take these legs um, we're going to move the arms back and what we want to do is move the hip we're going to realign this so the hip goes upward so that this piece can swing around and lock into place to make the front of the truck and then we're going to want to get the arms down into place. And you're going to want to find the ball joint and spin it around proper so that the hands go inward like this. And just kind of straighten your legs. And then you're going to want to align this up to the back of the cab so that the blue is on the blue. And again, you're going to do the same thing with the other arm. You're going to twist this ball socket around and you're going to work it into place so that the red is going to go inward and kind of make the door so just kind of maneuver that in you get a little peg hole there and a peg there and clip those into place this doesn't work too terribly great because it is a giant ko but it should work on the core class figure pretty well and then you're going to lock the back of the legs together. So find their pieces and clamp them into place. And just kind of make sure everything is clicked into place like this. And we've got our semi truck. And yeah, it's a giant core class semi. Looks pretty cool. I like the way it looks. So just a closer look here. Yeah, I like the look. I love the red and the silver. The front of the cab looks great. Side, not so much. Um, these pieces could stick in a little better. It does roll. It's very stable. Um, it looks like Optimus Prime. It's nice and solid. I wish the feet folded downward. That would have been cool. But, I mean, it looks like a giant core class Optimus truck. So is the Super Optimus Prime a KO based off an oversized Kingdom Optimus Prime, something you want in your Transformers collection. Well, if you collect the main lines, this could be a very easy pass. If you like weird, kind of kitschy type of figures, this might be something up your alley. If you want something a little different, or you like knockoffs, I definitely guarantee you're going to like it. I love this figure. It's unique. 
I like the paint scheme on it. It makes it look very different from other Optimus Primes and the cape for some reason just works. Maybe I'm getting used to Coronation Starscream's cape. I don't know, but it's always fun to have a robot with a cape. So there he is, Super Optimus Prime, available from SirToys.com. Thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos, and follow me on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.